We're the dorks. Pop and corks. We're we like storks. We're glad to see you again. We eat with forks. <laughs> We're just going to change it every time because <laughs> that's the way I, I like, that uh-huh, uh-huh, I I like, like that it. Plan. Welcome to episode eight. Um, if you joined us on our Facebook page, we actually, 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 I can't talk. Actually. We actually did a live version of this. We um, did. Yes. And we so. had fun doing it, so we, we might did. do it again. Yes. Yeah, there's face. so many bottles in our face. Hello, hello, Sounds hello, big hello. hello. Um, we're very excited to see you. It's been a while. Welcome to our new home. Uh, chocolate curtains. Chocolate curtains, blinds, and curtains behind that. Things not in our daughter's room. Yes. Okay, so um, tonight we have two wines as usual. Um, we have a light wine and a dark wine. Yeah, usually we do a red and a white. But today we're doing a rose and a red. A rose and a red. Because it was 40% off um, Spain Spanish and, and Mediterranean stuff at World Market. So we well, love World Market. That's where we had it this way. World Market should pay us to do world this. World Market should pay us to do this because we get a lot of crap from World Market. I feel like I'm off screen. You probably have to scoot I, I, it. Do you want me to scoot over? <laughs> okay, cool. You're in my lap again. Mm. All right, so um, which wine would you like to start out with? The rose or the Tempranillo? Tempranillo. Tempranillo. Let's go with the Tempranillo. You want to start with the Tempranillo? Yeah. It had this awesome, like, gold... Yeah. We're a sucker for cage. good-looking bottles. <laughs> and a cage. Cage, cage on it. Deep V. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's try our new uh, wine tool as well. Ooh, yes. Was that a crack? It better not be, because it was a very expensive aerator. No, I think it's just scratch. Let's hope. Will you go check on your child real quick? Yeah. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Do I pour it down like this? Yeah, but you hold it over the glass, uh-huh. and you want to pour slowly so that it's like medium level each time. Like this? Yep. I'm aerating the wine, folks. Just call me the aerator. Okie dokie, I definitely put this in the white wine glasses. That's fine. My bad. You did. It's all right. I like that sound it's making. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Uh, Venturi makes this. Over here. Yeah. Okay, tell me a little bit about this red wine. Uh, This Tempranillo. Tempranillo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, It's from the Valdepeñas region in Spain, which means Valley of the Rocks, apparently. I had to look that up. I've heard of this region before. Didn't know it meant Valley of the Rocks. Evidently, it um, is um, five years. Yes, it's a age. reserva, which means it has to at least be in oak for at least a year, and, and then it has been... to sit for a couple years. So this one's five years. This one's been in for cinco años. I think the requirement for reserva is three years, and grand reserva is like. Eight years. I think it had like 93 points on something, so that's why we purchased it, because we were like, yeah. hey, what's up with that? Okay, so. Let's warm it up a little bit. I guess we don't just wish it, because we. Yeah, we aerated it. Still want to do a little bit. Mm. Blackberries. I smell leather. I smell lots Ra- of leather. <laughs> Raspberries. Get like pine. Pine? Like a piney. Like it's a like a woody, oaky, leathery. Yeah. Right. Let me give it a sip. Mm. Mm. It's very raspberry-y on the palate. It is. Um, it's got medium to high tannins. Uh, it's a little bit astringent. Um, it gives you a little bit of that dry feeling yeah, in the back of your exactly. jaw. That's what that means. Yep. Good mm. job. You're doing so I good. learned something. I didn't make it up this time and turned out to be true. Um. So it is it's definitely leathery. <laughs> That's all I get. It's kind of, yeah. <laughs> it's a little one note ish. Uh-huh. I wanted it to be, so we had this red blend um, on our live episode, which I'm hoping that I can download and put on. Yeah. That'll be like it's our seven not and a, a half. A red blend. And that was so flavorful and so delicious mm-hmm. that I like was expecting something amazing from this. And I'm getting like, this is definitely um, like a full-bodied, um, very dark wine, which from the color, mm-hmm. it's a lighter red. Yeah. Because this is like a black grape. Um, 
But it definitely is like, like you can see through it. Yeah. I was expecting a darker color. Yeah. And I was expecting a little more from this. Um, yeah. Especially with the aging from the region of Spain. This is a value region, though. It's not one of the great Spanish wine regions. So this bottle was $9, I think. And yeah. Had good reviews. Cool bottle. Yeah. 30% off. So I thought it would be really good with we our resist. pork soba noodles yeah. later this week. So, <laughs> like, what, what are we heck? eating with this today? Yeah, today we are eating Quillo, Spanish ham flavored potato chips. Quillo, 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 Quillo. My Spanish pronunci- pronunciation is always bad. Yeah. So. Well, so um, these come in four different flavors. They come in the Spanish ham. Fried egg, olive oil, or white truffle. Um, we thought that the jamón would go the best with it. It's a little Spanish ham with the Spanish wine. Yeah. And according to Mike's research, this wine goes great with um, a charcuterie tray. So why not a charcuterie chip? Most wines do go well with charcuterie. Oh, you have um, scissors on this? Really? Mom, you didn't see me use my teeth. Uh, the Tempranillo also goes great with... Um, lasagnas, pastas, anything with a nice red sauce. This is going to compliment it. My life. My life is red sauce. <laughs> they smell like <laughs> My life is red sauce. I found out that I was, you know, part Italian, so I can say my life is red sauce. You drink all the wine that you should eat with the chip. Mm. I guess I need more. Now I have to aerate you some more wine. Let's do it. Let's use the school venturi thing again. Okay. We also got this. Look, it has this little filter. Look, and it's working. It's got gunk in it. Some it's not gunk. It's All wine has a little bit of gunk. Schluff. Um, we also got this bad boy from World Market. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. This we're eating little... with the chip. It's just yeah, like I guess tasting we have with the wine. chip. I'm going to save it for pork soba noodles. Okay. Um, they smell like chips with like a back end of a salami. Not like the back end of a salami. Like the- <laughs> I don't want to smell the back end of any salami. Like, the back end scent is salami-esque. Do you want to give them a sniff? I guess we don't normally sniff our snacks, do we? Ooh. We're sniffing a snack. All right. That smells like ham. I'm going to have it without a drink first. Okay. Whoa, well, there's the ham. Okay. It's a ham chip? <laughs> it's so hammy. I've never had a chip that tastes so much like what it's supposed to taste like. You know those, like, Lay's competitions? Yeah. That they do, like, flavor? Then you talk to Queen. Yeah. Mm. This would win the ham competition. This tastes like I'm eating sliced ham. And, so like, good sliced, quality yeah. sliced ham. Not like that Oscar Mayer bowl. Oh, no. <laughs> Oscar Mayer, I still love you. <laughs> Great day, what is it? Support us. Let's try it with the Tempranillo. Mmm. Kind of a weird pairing. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I mean, it's Chips wine. and wine. What's. Why not? <laughs> you see what I did there? Why I knew you were going to make bad wine puns. My deep knee is coming. <laughs> You're good for at least one bad pun an episode. You <laughs> like you don't tell bad puns all the time. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right. We're going to grade them all at the end. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. That's what we do every time. All right. What can you tell me about this great wine, Mandy? Go say the chip. Mm-hmm. I think my French is not good. Let's hear it. Ame Roquesante? Close. Ame Roquesante. It's from Côte de Provence. Côte de Provence, yeah. Um, it is um, from the south of France, and it's a nice mm-hmm. rosé. We actually found our snack first, and then we Googled what it would go well with, and they said a rosé, and you know, your girl loves a rosé. I don't turn one down. Yeah. So, and this guy had... Um, 91 points. It's won a bunch of awards. It's a great um, cheap bottle of wine, actually, because it's only about nine bucks, too. Actually, I think it was like 12. Drinking this out of a plastic cup. I am, yes. A blue one. Fancy, fancy. It's our 4th of July cup. You can see the color from mine. It's it's a rose Mm. color. It's literally what the term rose means. It's like pinkish. 
Hold the bottle because it looks like a lady. It's real curvy, like a oh, lady, feminine. like a French lady. Name Rose. I just wrote, read a um, book about women spies in the 1910s. Did they drink wine? They drank a lot of whiskey. Mm. Mm. Smoked a lot of cigarettes. Mm. It was really good, though. Sounds like Mad Men in a book. I don't. Except it was about ladies and not men's. Mad Men is just about as much about ladies as it is about. Okay. Raspberries. So many raspberries. Why are there raspberries in everything I smell tonight? Fresh cut strawberries. I smell red wine grapes. I smell like grapes. Melon. This has a grapey smell to it. I'm getting like melon peel. I get a little bit of citrus. Um, lemon peel. Sure. Mm -hmm. It's right. a melon peel. Well, same letters, but all mixed up. <laughs> You've had too much wine already. All right, let's taste her. Okay. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. That's really good. That's really tasty. That's a really good... That's a great rosé. <laughs> Is the light too bright? Yeah. Let me see if I can shadow it. Like people do with they their makeup brushes. Uh, That's really good. Really good. It's a really good rosé. Mm -hmm. I recommend this bad boy. What kind of grapes was it made out of? Yeah. I don't know. It doesn't say on the bottle. It's delicious. 2017. Check out your... Mm -hmm. Local world market are probably the online if you'd like to get it. All right, so oh, it's a cuvee selectione. We're having it with a Gaia gherkin snack. This is from Greece, mm -hmm. but with our Mediterranean. Um, and they said that actually gherkins go really well with rosés. Um, and they said that this rosé actually goes really well with olive oil. And these gherkins are um, in vinegar and in extra virgin olive oil out of Greece. So we thought. Perfect pairing. Perfect pairing. We will Gherkins test and rosé. Um, you can also get this in carrot or cauliflower. We went with pickles, obviously. Oh, they smell really good. It smells like a pickle. <laughs> it smells like a pickle. <laughs> Look how wee it is. Look how tiny. It's the tiniest gherkin I've ever seen. Are gherkins supposed to be this small? <laughs> it's so Mine's a little. little. Bit <laughs> no, it is little. It's Mm -hmm. Nora's not happy that we're having fun without her. She's not. Mmm. Oh, I really like these little gherkins. Yeah, I'll do one more and then I'll... I'm not a sweet pickle girl, so I was afraid because a lot of gherkins are in sweet. Um, so I'm going to try it with my rosé. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mike, you want to talk about gherkins? It's tart, pickly. Olive oily though smooth. Yeah, the olive oil like balances it out a lot. I'm trying to find out what grapes are in that. Ooh, it's actually really good with the with pickle. With the rosé? Mm -hmm. mm. Pickles and rosé. All summer long, y'all. It's going to be hot outside. Cold rosé. Cold pickles. <laughs> Summer's almost up. Pickles and rosé. Pickles and rosé. <laughs> New hashtag. Pickles and rosé. Pickles and rosé. Mmm, that's good. It's a good combo. That's a fantastic combo. I'm going to have my ham chips and my gherkins and my rose it. And it's going to be great. <laughs> Your rose it. <laughs> rose. Mm -hmm. There you go. All right. Just on a cursory search, I could not find out what grapes were in this rose. It's all right, though. It's tasty. It's yeah. a tasty morsel. All right. So let's run through it. The... Tempranillo. Tempranillo from Valdepeña, Spain. The Reserva. I'm giving it a five. Really? Mm, didn't wow me. Um, I'm going to go with 7.3. 0.3? I don't like it enough to give it a 7.5. I don't hate it enough to give it a 7. Mm. I like it. Like It's good. Hey, it's imported through Leesburg, Virginia. Cool. Look at that. Wait, it has to get here somewhere. Somewhere. Somehow. Yeah. Um, Five for me. It's good. I was expecting more because so it's been aging. Divide that. It's like a six point six eight two. 
between my five and your whatever. All right, heal. Spend a time chips. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna buy these all the time. Based on what they are, they're a ten. They're totally a ten. They're a ten. If you love ham, <laughs> and you need a chip, and you love chips, <laughs> ham chips. That's all I'm saying. These are so good. They're a good chip, and they taste just like what they're And they're a great, like, like, quality chip. They're not, like, that fall apart. And the bag was full up to here. Yeah. When are you ever going to see that? I'm down. We should have got the fried egg one, too. I'm gonna well, to back yeah, the they do egg. make a fried egg. And what was the other one? Black Olive truffle. Oil, white truffle. White truffle. And, yeah, yeah. It's good. Yeah. Good stuff. Okay. I'm down for this mm -hmm. one. Okay, so how do you feel about the rosé? Uh, eight and a half for me. I'm going to, I'd say eight and a half, too. Mm -hmm. Rosé really in a can, good. it's still my favorite. But really? I like this Wasn't number. Mm -hmm. okay. What about the pompon mousse? The pompon mousse is like moving down for me because mm -hmm. it was too great, great exactly. for me. Like this That's is really clean and this is really nice. Yeah. But yes. This is everything a rosé should be. Yeah, this is really light, really wonderful. Ditch your $4 bottle of rosé. Go get this $9 bottle. Worth the difference. And this is going to look really cool like sitting up. Mm-hmm. Like, clean off the labels, put some lights in it, it'll look really cool. Put some lights in it. All That's right. That's what we do. Gherkins. Um, gherkins. Also, they're resealable, which I'm totally down with, so you can put them in your cool. fridge um, or take them on the go. And all they have in them are gherkins, sea salt, vinegar, olive oil, garlic, and coriander. That's it. You know everything that's in it. And it's uh, gluten-free, vegan, and nothing artificial. Mm -hmm. What are you giving the gherks? I actually really like them. I really, really like the gherkins. Eight. I'm giving it a nine. Ooh. I love the gherkins. And then the gherkins and the rosé together is a ten. That's a ten. It's a, it is a good combo. Knocking it out of the park yeah, with this guy. So, so anyway, mm -hmm. hashtag pickles and rosé. Pickles and rosé. Um, thank you for Who joining knew? us. Who knew? Would, would all pickles work, do you think? Or do you have to... I'll get back to you on that. Yeah. We'll do some more uh, research this weekend yes. with pickles and rosé. I'm very excited about pickles right. and rosé. <laughs> <laughs> well, another great episode. Another good episode. Thank you. Let's go tend to our baby. Let's go tend to our baby. We're the dorks. <laughs> Popping Poppin corks. corks. Eating with forks. Eating with forks. Maybe even sporks. Chasing away storks. Chasing we, away storks because I want to keep drinking wine. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good night. Bye.